Les 26 et 27 mars 2015 marquent un tournant décisif pour notre association, la première conférence mondiale à Paris sur la gliomatose cérébrale. C'est près de 35 chercheurs qui ont fait le déplacement jusqu'ici pour mettre en commun leurs connaissances et choisir les axes à venir. Cet événement marque sans doute le début de la recherche pour cette maladie orpheline et annonce d'ores et déjà un signal positif très fort pour les générations futures. Mais rien ne pourra se faire sans votre soutien. Les besoins en financement sont immenses pour avancer et c'est vous qui avez entre vos mains la clé pour ouvrir la porte vers le chemin de la guérison. C'est votre générosité qui devient aujourd'hui notre espoir. Et ensemble, nous allons écrire ce premier chapitre qui, j'en suis certaine, va en annoncer encore beaucoup d'autres. On représente Franck, un rayon de soleil une association qui a été créée suite au décès de Franck. We created the AYJ fund in memory of our daughter Anna Arabia who was diagnosed with gliomatosis cerebri at age 13. Y fast tenía 3 años cuando enfermó de gliomatosis cerebri y bueno no había ninguna investigación ni, ni había cura para su enfermedad. Ali was um, only three years old when she suffered her first seizure and then she, um, she died three months later. It's a very short illness. Joshua wanted to be a French chef and dream too in Paris someday. That was his last dream. This disease is so rare that there is no research, no cure, there is no option if you get this diagnosis. That's the hardest thing as a parent to be told that, you know, there's nothing we can do. Um, it, it's a situation without hope will create a lot of connections for families and our primary goal is to um, drive research and to find uh, better treatments and a cure for gliomatosis cerebri. Anybody who hears this interview or watch this video, we are hoping that um, you help us spread the word about gliomatosis cerebri. Que todo el mundo comprenda lo importante que es para esta enfermedad y para cualquier otra. Solo juntos podemos hacerlo y no pueden morir más niños sin ninguna esperanza. Aujourd'hui, il y a près de 35 personnes du monde entier qui sont présentes, qui sont actuellement en réunion à l'Institut Curie. Beaucoup d'Américains, des Canadiens, des Italiens, des Anglais, des Espagnols, des Français. Donc, toute, ces, toute cette matière grise qui aujourd'hui échange sur ceux qui savent déjà sur ce cancer et essayer de trouver un, un programme d'avancer sur, sur la recherche et mettre toutes les connaissances ensemble. The great things about this first meeting on gliomatosis cerebri is that it brings forth three different camps that don't necessarily speak to one another. There's the families, there's the clinicians who treat the patients, and there's the scientists. This was a great start to galvanize the medical communities, both in the United States and in Europe, to really start doing the research. Through collaboration, um, like the kind of meeting that we had here today, that we can make important progress in these relatively rare diseases. And I think there are plans that were clearly outlined at this meeting uh, to share tissue, to share information, to put our heads together, and to try to move forward. From our perspective, getting tissue is incredibly important. What that means is actually getting biopsies from patients' brains so that we can analyze those tissues on a genetic level. It also means getting tissue not only when they're diagnosed, but also when their tumors come back, and also at autopsy, so we can actually study the progression of the disease. I think that the researchers need models of animals that mime cette maladie qui nous permettent de, de tester au laboratoire beaucoup de, 
de nouveaux médicaments, de nouvelles approches. Because of the rarity of the tumor compared to breast cancer, lung cancer, prostate cancer, the large cancer organizations are not really focused on this, and that's why the, the, it's so important the parents have gotten together to commit the resources to actually allow us to study and analyze these tumors. The first thing we need to do is to genetically understand what is happening in gliomatosis cerebri. It is a different kind of malignant brain tumor. Curiously, there is a prevalence amongst children. That's not true for classic malignant brain tumors. It may not be one disease. It may be a mixture of a few diseases held under the same name. That's what we're learning about right now. And I think the molecular genetics and the research will tell us if this is one disease, two diseases, or many different diseases that are, are just a little, uh, look the same, but could be different. Now what we're going to do is go back to our primary institutions, build a proper infrastructure so that we can really cross-analyze things. And I think that even within the next months to a year, we're going to see dramatic improvement on how to approach this. Now we really know what we have, we have to focus on in terms of research, registry, uh, tissue sampling, uh, information from patients and doctors. So I think now we have a pretty strong um, roadmap of how to move forward in the gliomatosis cerebri research. The important piece for us now is to raise funds to support this research. Um, there's uh, much funding that's needed to uh, be able to bring these brilliant minds and the work that they're doing to fruition and really make a difference and see a change. So anything you can do to support research is uh, will truly be a value and we would really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Para la muerte de nuestra hija nunca tendrá sentido, pero algo teníamos que hacer. No no puede haber más padres que sientan la misma impotencia, el mismo dolor que nosotros y Nuestra obligación es empujar la investigación. And we're at the conference um, in order to help raise awareness about gliomatosis cerebri and help um, further research and learn how to collaborate with um, all the families affected by this terrible cancer. Lorsque les médecins nous ont convoqué pour nous annoncer que c'est une gliomatose, ils nous ont dit qu'il n'y a plus rien à faire pour Franck. La recherche n'existe pas. Le défi est lancé. Grâce à cette conférence mondiale, la recherche sur la gliomatose va pouvoir débuter. Ce sera un travail long et coûteux, mais avec l'énergie des chercheurs, des familles, et grâce à vos dons, nous avancerons et combattrons un jour cette maladie. Your child has a brain tumor. It's gliomatosis cerebri, and there is no cure. We are trying to change that, and we are hopeful of, with all the support that we have, that we can change that. Someday, there will be a cure. Someday, there will be a cure.